Global Fishing Watch is an international nonprofit organization dedicated to advancing ocean governance through increased transparency of human activity at sea. We create and publicly share knowledge about human activity at sea to enable fair and sustainable use of our ocean. We create this new knowledge by using cutting edge technology to turn big data into information that people can actually use. We then share this information publicly for free to accelerate science and drive fairer, smarter policies and practices that can reward good behavior, protect biodiversity, and help fishers and their livelihoods. Our major focus is on commercial fishing because it is the most widespread human activity at sea and the most impactful on human health and the most crucial for global livelihoods and food security. Information on the ocean has been historically extremely difficult to obtain. There's a reason that the open ocean is synonymous with lawlessness and poor management. And just a few years ago, we had almost no idea exactly where fishers were setting their lines and hooks. When we first learned about Spire, we were really excited because they were launching lots of satellites. And the reason that's important is because in order to track the movements of any boat on the water, you need a large constellation of satellites because the satellites aren't always overhead. So in order to have continuous tracking of boats, you need a very large constellation. So Spire launching dozens of these satellites was an obvious choice for us. Uh, but then, you know, beyond just the quantity of the data, it's been really fantastic uh, how flexible they have been and how they've been able to work with us on an individual basis to make sure that the data we're getting fits our needs. And we see them actually as much more of a partner than a data provider. The key thing that Spire Data has helped us do is fill in gaps in our data. Because they have so many satellites in orbit, we're able to track the movements of vessels much more detailed. This has helped us with a number of different projects. Uh, one of the examples, for instance, is uh, we like to identify where vessels are turning off their transponders, or it's called going dark. And we want to know this because they turn them off sometimes to do illicit, illegal things. But if you only have a few satellites overhead, you can't tell if the boat's turning off its, its transponder or if it's just simply in an area where the satellite's not there. With this nearly continuous coverage though, we get a very good picture and it's exciting to see a data company, a satellite company, be excited about how we can use this data for good because there is such incredible opportunity to manage the world's resources better with the right information. We live on this pale blue dot floating in space, which is mostly water. And the part that makes it blue, the oceans, has historically been very poorly monitored and it belongs to everyone. And it's our duty to be able to identify what we're doing in the oceans and how we can better share them.